eight places that you can take a ham radio test for a new license or an upgrade today. And it starts right now. Shut up and sit down. Thank you for tuning in today. My name's Jason, I'm KC5HWB. On this channel, we do reviews, news, and how-tos of many things that are new in amateur radio. And this episode is talking about ham radio testing. Ham radio testing has been huge ever since the pandemic started, somewhere around April of 2020. And I'm gonna show you eight different places today where you can go and take your test, either in person, or remotely and get started in your adventure in amateur radio, let's go. Okay, so the first place I will tell you about today is Anchorage VEC. And I did an interview with these guys on my channel a few months ago, it was somewhere around late April, early May, and I brought them on and did a Zoom session with two of the uh, volunteer examiners from uh, the VEC team. And they've actually been doing remote testing since 2014. There's a lot of places in Alaska where you can't get to by car or can't get to very quickly by car. And amateur radio testing facilities and amateur radio club locations are sometimes few and far between. So they got permission from the FCC and from the powers that be several years ago, six years ago, to do remote testing via a proctor system. Today, they offer fully remote testing and still offer remote testing via the proctor system now if you go to their website at kl7aa.org that's kilo lima 7 alpha alpha.org you can see right here they made an update last time was uh, august 21st just a couple of weeks ago and they say they have two options for remote testing we strongly encourage you to carefully read this entire page before submitting an application so option one, fully remote testing. Remote testing without a proctor shall be available to those who have the technological knowledge to set up a testing environment that optimizes a required configuration. To be eligible for a, for a fully remote examination, applicants must meet the following requirements. Uh, a reliable internet connection, a computer with Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome web browser, uh, with a webcam that allows you to view the examinee's head, face, shoulders clearly to be seen at all times during the examination. Another computer with a webcam, a smartphone with a webcam, or a second camera attached to their main computer. This camera must be positioned in such a way to allow the VE team to see the examinee's hands, workspace, uh, work scratch paper and calculator and computer monitor that's being used to display the examination. A current installation of Google Meet, Skype, or Zoom. A quiet room to complete the exam, free from distractions and, interrupt and interruptions. The examinee must be the only person in the room during the exam. No one is permitted to enter the room while the examination is in process. So fully remote testing available from the Anchorage VEC. As they said in the last interview I did with them, they do offer FCC licensing to anybody who is eligible to get a uh, USA FCC amateur radio call sign. So they're not limited to only people in, in Alaska. They do examinations for people in the continental USA. They do examinations for people in Hawaii and people in U.S. territories. And even sometimes people uh, in Canada, depending on where you are and what your unique situation is. So read through this page. The link will be in the description below. You can, they've got more information in here about their fully remote testing. Option two is remote testing with an approved proctor. Again, this is the process they've had in place since 2014 for about six years. Examinees need a computer and internet connection, webcam, microphone, laptops are best. No iPads, tablets, or smartphones. Uh, you can read through here. Proctors need a telephone with a speaker capability. Cellular telephones are best because it's typical, pretty easy to turn on the speaker off and on. So notes of proctors, some more information here. Come take your exam, apply now in the red text down at the bottom, Anchorage VEC for your first available place to take an amateur radio exam today for new license or upgrade. Next, we will go over to hamstudy.org forward slash sessions. And the reason I called this video eight different ways, eight different places, <laughs> is because 
Many of these places I'm going to show you today are in-person testing facilities that do them over and over and over again. So sometimes places will pop up here and just do it once every few months. The places I'm going to show you today look like they're doing them about once every couple to three weeks. But those are the in-person testing exams at various places throughout the United States. In addition to that, the second official place I will tell you about is online. Hamstudy.org has multiple testing sessions that are available to people throughout the United States, throughout the U.S. territories, for examinations to be done anywhere online remotely. So all you do is go to hamstudy.org forward slash sessions. Again, that link will be in the description below. I'm going to go here. I'm just kind of scroll down through their quick list of places they have listed, which is Columbia University, all online, but the session is full. Uh, remote exam via N7 TMS, session is full. So you'll see these sessions down here are full, but you'll just have to go far enough in advance from whenever you're watching this video and from whenever you're going to click on this website link and go online, online. You find this online here in, the, in this third column over, online. These sessions fill up quickly, which is a good thing. I'm glad these sessions are filling up so quickly because that means more and more people want to take a ham radio exam. That's a good thing. Be thankful that these sessions are filling up quickly because if they had these sessions all online and no one ever attended them, they would just quit doing them. So be thankful that the sessions fill up so quickly. Schedule yours out far enough advanced to where you can get into a session that works on your schedule. Here's the next one available at the time of this recording. It's AE7TD. Remote testing in Glarg. There's five st spots remaining for September 25th, Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific time. The examination fee is $10 online. You can click on these hyperlinks here and take you to the testing sign-up website. Here's W8WOT. He was a member of the HRCC Discord and uh, administration team. He's been doing online tests himself. You can actually go to his website here, and it's a fully... It's a full list of all the sessions that he has himself. So just one place to take an online ham radio test. So just keep coming down and look for this third column, online, online. There's multiple places doing online. Just like that. So the next five or six that I will show you today that I, I told you I was going to show you about eight. And actually, I think there, there's more than that, quite frankly. So you can scroll down here and find the ones that are recurring. So we're looking at right here, uh, starting, I'm just going to pick a date and start around here. These are all online. Greensboro, North Carolina, the W4VEC Greensboro session. You'll see this site pop up every now and then. Knoxville, Maryland. These guys offer tests on a regular basis. Ham in a day test session. No limit. No limit. You're not going to get session as full as that. You're not going to get three slots remaining. No limit. Longmont, Colorado. So that's three, four, five places right there. Melrose Park, Illinois. Belvedere, New Jersey. Richardson, Texas, right around the corner from where I'm at. Uh, Richardson Wireless Amateur Radio Club license exam. They have an in-person testing facility, and you can go check out their entire schedule right here. September 17th, October 15th, November 19th, December 17th. So they've got once a month testing sessions going on right now. And they've had those going for a little while. So if you are in a place where you want to take, it's not too far to drive and take your test, then maybe you don't have to wait three or four weeks to sign up for the online test. Or maybe you should wait three or four weeks and study more during that time. Works out either way. If you're ready right now and you're near one of these places, go sign up and go take your test. If you want to wait, find an online place. Doesn't matter where you are in relation to the online place, the online place, and I've received this question a lot. That's why I'm saying this. Sometimes I'll get emailed by people and they'll say, hey, I can't find an online testing facility near me. I'm in Houston, Texas. I'm in Albuquerque. I'm in California. I can't find an online testing near me. Do you have any suggestions? And I'm like, yes, go find one that's not near you. It's online. It doesn't matter where you are. If you're in the USA and it's an FCC testing facility associated with any of the VECs that are out there, it doesn't matter where they are. That's the, that's the great part about it being online. So back here we can go. So Richardson, Texas, these guys, Richardson Wireless Club, they do regularly scheduled tests. 
Knoxville, Maryland, we saw them a minute ago. They've got one on September 12th and one on September 19th. You might see some, that's two this month. You might see some more pop up for October very soon. Garland, Texas, another local club to where I am, WB9ZPH. They have one September 3rd, 10th, 17th, 24th. It's almost once a week, October 22nd, December 10th. Once a week in September, anyway. Go back here. Here's High Point, uh, High Point, North Carolina again. Castle Rock, Colorado, W0RDR. They've got several sessions in here once a month through the end of the year. September, October, November, December. Salt Lake City, Utah. Amateur radio exams all licensed in person only. 48 slots remaining, September 28th. W7PS, they've got one in September. Or I'm sorry, one in August. That was last month. One in September, one in October, one in November, and one in January. They're planning as far out as January. So plenty of options, more than eight. Online testing and in-person testing. Again, if you want to take an online test, it doesn't matter where you are. If you're a U.S. citizen or you're eligible for an FCC amateur radio license, you can take any test anywhere online as long as it is given by an authorized FCC volunteer exam coordinator, VEC team. Or you could go to one of these facilities and probably walk in the door, sit down and take a test and do it a lot quicker than you could if you have to wait two to three weeks online. So still getting these questions, guys. I'm responding to questions. This video was made in a response to a lot of questions I've been receiving about amateur radio testing. It's been an uh, online testing really got a shot in the arm when COVID started in the United States, somewhere around the first week of April. The ham study guys who make a, a piece of software called exam tools have been pushing for online testing for a while. And when the VECs decided that, hey, you know, COVID, everything's locked down. What are we going to do? Exam tool says we're ready to go. And they've made several updates since then. They're like, okay, because the volume, because of how it's structured and the sheer number of people wanting to get amateur radio license, they had to upgrade their game and they've done a fantastic job of it. So special thanks to Richard and all the folks out there at hamstudy.org. It's uh, they've really stepped up to the challenge to get people licensed during the pandemic in the USA. So whether you're using exam tools in person at a facility or online via a, uh, remote testing session that they offer they they have options for both but online testing and remote testing and in-person testing is a thing right now today go get your amateur radio license don't wait go get it now you'll love it the journey is great i love it i hope to talk to you on the air 73 everyone thank you for joining us today and we'll catch you next time